Hello, cat, and welcome back. Oh, I put the mic on the wrong side, so you have to hold it like this. <laughs> Yeah, just hold it. Wait, but you need to see the camera. Hello, I'm Toy Cat. This is Cooking with Toy Cat. Uh, I've got a friend here who's going to hold the camera. I'll briefly show you him. He doesn't like the internet. What's yep. your name, Alex? Nice. <laughs> yeah, <Alex. laughs> That's one of the best questions. Okay, so I'm going to... I guess I'll just take out the mic. Uh, wait, actually. So, chat, say pineapples if you can hear me after I reverse the camera. Wait, oh, wait. There you go. Cool. Okay, say pineapples if you hear me right. If you hear me badly, or like faintly, say blueberries. They're, they're playing, they're saying pineapples. Yeah, but I haven't switched it yet. They're saying pineapples prematurely. You gotta say pineapple. okay, say like, blueberries if it's bad now, and you can like barely hear me, or I'm echoey. It's... Or keep saying pineapples to keep going aboard that. What are they thinking? You got blueberries in there, or is it No, it's, it's still like 90% pineapples. So we're gonna have a tasty fruit salad, not one of those garbage, like, oh, uh, we bought the cheap fruit, and... Okay, that's good, that's good. Oh, I'm, hello. Okay, so, all pineapple still? Yep, it's good. That's weird, because the mic's facing the wrong way. Uh, I'll take a Oh, there's a couple of blueberries now. Oh, we got some blueberries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we got a chill. Uh, so, so, I've got like, I've got a stabilizer, so I'm really cautious of doing this. But... Okay, so... You gotta give me a pineapples now, chat. No, wait, wait, a better fruit. Uh, say mini baguettes. <laughs> are these baguettes, would you say, or are they just bread? I think it is bread. So, say bread in the chat if you are uh, hearing me correctly. Because there's sometimes screeching. If there's screeching, just say, oh, the audio sucks. But mini bread is the phrase before we start, so I know the audio's good. Because that's so good there. What we got? We got no mini breads? Yes, mm. <laughs> oh, so Alex, so Alex is reading out comments to me. So if you hear a so faint voice in the background. So, so I'm said mini baguette. Uh, okay, same bread now. Okay, so there's a bit of a delay there, like 30 seconds or so. Um, so what I have today, what is going on? What is cooking with soy cat? Cooking with soy cat. I'm going to break this down for you. It's cooking with this guy. Yeah, you like that. So, yeah, we're doing some cooking today because I bought one of these boxes, uh, honestly. It was just like a fanciful, like, oh, I mean, it was like a reasonable price or something. And I was like, yeah, I'll, whatever. Like, it, they did some special deal. So I was like, yeah, I'll buy one of those boxes where they give you all the food, they bring it to your house in like special portions, and I'll try and make one of their things. Because they claim every meal can be made in eight steps or less. Something like this. They give you a picture. Look how beautiful that is. So today, I'm going to be making... What should be the easiest meal of all time to make? A lamb burger with mint mayo. And we're gonna see if somehow, despite all the horror... <laughs> okay, if you've watched these before, they've gone pretty badly. But today, I'm gonna hope we can make something that looks like this. Uh, try and show that up properly. And we can do that in just eight simple steps. So let's see if we can do that. So, uh, have you ever had a lamb burger, Alex? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear they're meant to be quite... Um, there's probably a word, gamey, maybe. Is gamey a word that sounds right in that situation? What does that mean? I don't know. Everyone says it, and I'm like, oh yeah, gamey. Like, yeah, I, I like games. Um, but yeah, we're gonna hopefully make one of these. It takes 40 minutes and serves four people. Wait, actually, wait. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, oh, it's 40 minutes to serve two people. To serve four takes that extra 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna serve myself and then myself in the future. Uh, I don't want to give Alex any food because, you know, I, I mean, you give people food and suddenly they expect it. They come to your house every week and, you know, it's just too much effort. So instead, we got to work out what we make this lamb burger out of. So we got 20g of mint sauce, a cucumber, or half a cucumber, half a cucumber, a tablespoon of Henderson's relish, a tomato, lamb mints, ciabatta rolls. Honestly, this might as well just say bread mints and like a cute actually yeah all of these ingredients are unnecessary but because i'm trying to go fancy we'll do these so what's the chat saying alex what are you reading now someone says it sounds bad someone said don't feed alex and i basically agree with that <laughs> <laughs> i mean like you if you feed someone they'll just keep coming back until your food supplies oh, no, totally. totally. it's just the well-known thing oh okay so this is a chia batter roll if you've never heard of chia batter i only know it because of runescape uh, the Gnome Village, they'll help you like with the recipe for it. So if you want to 
make a cheap better roll yourself. Just go for the gnome village. They got that stuff. So. Uh, this is a tomato. Wait, do we need a tomato? Like, honestly, isn't that too many ingredients for a burger? Like, just, like, bread and maybe the mince, potatoes, etc. But we also need potatoes. Man, look inside this box. Like, show people. There is a lot of ingredients in here. Like, it looks like I've gone to a real supermarket, like a real human adult or something. Uh, I got a carrot and everything. Read me some more comments, Alex. Uh, so, so, down a house down. Um, well, <laughs> welcome to Nome Village. Nome Village? Yeah, they're getting the reference at least. So, 300 Gs of potatoes. Would you have guessed that 300 grams of potatoes is only uh, 5? Oh, yeah. nice. Do you figure it'd be like 15 or something? Mm. But it's 5 small potatoes. Because step 1 involves taking these potatoes and cutting them lengthwise into chunky chips. I'm going to be honest with you here. The trick to making good chips is to make them not look like potatoes. So I'm going to ignore their instructions and instead make them look like chips. Someone asks, what does this have to do with Minecraft? Ah, well you see, in Minecraft, you can cook potatoes. And today, get this, we're cooking potatoes. So really, by the end of today's stream, we'll know a lot more about the potato. And uh, fun fact, wait, I think it's in the fridge somewhere. I've got a big box of refrigerated ingredients. It says open and chill, which is good life advice if you ask me. Just open up and chill, man. <laughs> oh. And this. Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh. That's not a regular beat. That's not a regular beat. I've never heard that beat before. Um, oh, it was my microwave. I've turned on to E1 mode. Mm. Ah, that's the friends. Mm. So I have some friends mm. coming around, and it's very mm. loud apparently. Oh gosh. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's ice. Okay, so. Hello. Uh, I'm recording cooking with Soycat. Do you want to say hi? Come, come over. Um, so I've got a friend coming over. We're playing some... Is, is Dungeons & Dragons a board game or a role-playing game only? Like, is it a role-playing uh, board game or is it just a... I think it's a bit of both, really. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, it, it's very loud, so I feel like we should explain what the noise is about. But, yeah, so yeah. it's a role-playing game, but yeah. not a board game. Yeah. Is, do we have our Romanian friend coming over? Yeah. Because I always... Like, wearing... so... Oh, that's good. Oh, this is this is the other. Uh, this is Alex. Hey. Have I met before? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, so what are you cooking on? So lamb burgers. Do you want one actually? Sure. Yeah. Uh, it, maybe you can decide after I make. Oh yeah, I turn up the temperature to show <laughs> Alex how. Alexa, set downstairs temperature to nineteen degrees. So hello, we, you know, real life sometimes gets in the way of the stream. So. What's the chat up to, uh, Alex? Make sure they don't feel neglected. I uh, saying they added burgers to Minecraft. I don't think that's true, though. No, that's that's 100% true, dude. Really? No. no. <laughs> I wanted to see if you could believe it, though. I haven't played in a while. I've got a so, I've got a knife. See, the trick with knives, you got to handle them very carefully. Like, never more than two fingers. More than two fingers, you've got a chance of cutting one of them. But two, the moment it gets, like, dangerous, you drop it. Like, you know, like, oh, no, oh, oh, you know. Whereas free, it, you have to untangle it a bit. So two two fingers maximum on the knife. So yeah, we're gonna cut these into little fries. Again, keep your distance. The further away you are from the knife, the less it can hurt you. Nailed it. See, that right. That was actually really good. Well, it actually was. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to work that well. Uh, so you're gonna play like Fruit Ninja, but like with the. I, Matthew, uh, you you work at Subway or you used to. Are uh, potatoes a fruit or a vegetable? They're a root. A root vegetable, I think they're called. A fruit vegetable. A root vegetable. But it sounds like fruit vegetable, which makes me a bit confused, you know? <laughs> so is that a chip yet, or have we got to go one more slice? Do you want to wait for the audience to ask? Yeah, that? chat, should we go like quarter potatoes or eight potatoes? Because yeah, technically wedges, I think. Yeah, they, they, it says wedges, but wedges look a bit like, eh, you know? <laughs> so, okay. We'll go into apes, you know, that's, that's a wedge. Maybe more than apes? Chat, let, let me know. Give me give me your opinions on that one. What's what's chat up to right now though, Alex? Uh, give me the damn last comment on the thumbnail. Great. Someone keeps saying put gravy on the burger. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a thing people do anywhere? Someone's saying eight. 
Okay, apes it is, apes it is. So is there a faster way? Because I'm doing this like horrific for you. I think you shouldn't should ask me, I already cooked myself. What do you do when you need food, Alex? Um, my brother's a good cook. Or well, I just, you know, stick anything in the oven. That's what I do too, this is what I'm doing right here actually. So as you can see, keeping the distance rule, like, the further away you are from a knife, the less it can hurt you. That's, that's really loud, isn't it? Like, that doesn't sound like good. But that's, that's how mastered... Honestly, these potatoes are kind of weak for, like, chips, right? Like, you want a bigger potato. I feel... Oh, no. Oh, no. We made our first mistake of the day, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> Double mistake of the time. So, again, keep your, keep your distance from the stuff. It can hurt you otherwise. Cut it in half. Cut it in half. Cut it in half. Yeah, there's got to be a fast way. This just feels inefficient. Uh, what's chat saying, Alex? Give me the... Someone's saying if you cut them into 128s. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like someone has unrealistic expectations. you got to do what a chef does and hold it down and go... Ch -ch 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 -ch. Yeah, but um, it's kind of scary, like, touching, like... Because this is putting me at risk, whereas if I'm like this... You know, the safe, the further you are away from it, the yeah, safer you, you are. You were complaining about speed, so... Oh, that's true, okay, so just... <laughs> sure, that's... What speed! <laughs> I've never witnessed something like this. <laughs> and actually, it's making, like, close to potato shapes, too, like... We're not far off. We're not what far is off. not a potato shape? That's a good... That's a good <laughs> you're raising a good question. Okay, so now we'll just finish up the rest. And as you can see, real potatoes. I'm always scared that I'll have like a horrific cooking accident and have to like deal with it on stream. Like, oh no, my finger's chopped off. And everyone just think it's fake, right? Like, oh yeah, nice finger chopped off. Like, good model you've got there. And I feel like, no, I'm like, really, I have to stop the stream now. This, the stream seems pretty supportive in, in your technique. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was it was just taking too long. Okay. So, it's there we go. Work, to be fair. So, we have to put it in an oven, preheated to 220 degrees. But this is a fan oven. But it doesn't say it's a fan oven, so I figured 205 is a good compromise. Uh, so, 205 degrees. And that goes in there for... Uh, 30 to 40 minutes? Is that normal for potatoes, Matthew? Uh, I did cook potatoes. Like potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you never cooked potatoes? Uh, yeah, but I just do it till it's done. But like, okay, that's that's fair enough. We'll do it till it's done. We'll follow the the advice from our chef friend here. Oh, he's uh, he coming around. Oh, he's yeah, he's a real chef. Yeah, we got a real chef coming around. <laughs> Mate, he can judge. He can judge whether it's good or not. So there's two skewers in this bag. And these are going to be for burgers, so another ingredient found. It's like a fun like quest where you got to find all the ingredients as well as make them. Next up, I've got to peel and finally chop. Oh wait, I've got to drizzle vegetable oil on it. Is rapeseed a vegetable, Alex? Yeah, I guess. Rapeseed so. a vegetable? I've no idea. Alexa, what is rapeseed? Is that a vegetable? The, the stream's saying no. Uh, should we ask them if we should use it anyway? Like, is olives... What's more of a vegetable? Olives or rapeseed? Like, one of those two is a vegetable. They can't both not be vegetables. But one of these is more appropriate for the situation. Well, you know, I'll, I'll use... I'll use rapeseed oil. You know what? Okay. So I've got to drizzle it on Okay, some, some people are saying use the olive oil. You can... I don't know if that's enough. I don't know what drizzling even means in the context of olive oil. But we nailed it. I think it's a drizzle in the context of what a drizzle is. What is a drizzle? Wait, water. drizzle some water in, or like, I don't know, like... You just sort of pour it for a little bit. Wait, wait. Is this a drizzle? Wait, show, like... Watch this. Is this a drizzle? Yeah. That's a drizzle. Okay, so oh. I did, I did like, roughly that, so we're good. Cool. Now I've got more cleaning to do. Actually, that's plastic. I'll throw it away. Sustainable, guys. Um, so next step, okay, so next step, we got to, <laughs> I'll leave this somewhere safe for uh, I've got to finely chop or grate the garlic. Grated garlic, that's a new one. Uh, pat the min lamb mince dry of kitchen paper and add it to a bowl. Okay, so I've got to chop some garlic. What does garlic look like? Garlic, I've got a wooden spoon in here. So I'm saying you should try cook puffer fish next time. Cook what, sir? Puffer fish. Cover fish? Puffer fish. Oh, oh. <laughs> fish, yeah. that's, 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 that's the poison that's Japanese. That's serious, uh, yeah. Well, you're trying to show yourself about 
I think they are, man. That's the idea. I, thought, I thought stream didn't want me to die, but like this stream looks like not. Evidently, you're dying regardless. Let's at least get a good stream out there. <laughs> Is this lamb? That's beef, right? Maybe? I don't oh, know. you don't even know you're beef. Oh. See, this is why you suck at Minecraft. You've eaten that in the mutton, eat some raw chicken, get some food poisoning. This is probably mince. And that's it. Oh. Oh, this is the weirdest packaging I've ever felt. Like, it's got, like, wool inside plastic. Yeah, weird. Okay, so, there's butter in here, too. There's, like, I love this, like, every single ingredient. Okay, so we find some garlic, but it's not in the bag. That's definitely an onion, not garlic, right? Just to make sure. <laughs> that's, that's an onion. And then not. That's okay, that's an onion. I can confirm that one. Garlic's quite small. So can you. Chat. Okay, wait. Uh, Matthew, baby, too. Can you help us find the garlic? What is this? It's a cooking live stream, man. Oh, you mean the box? Yeah. Uh, you know those. The one everyone advertises is a blue apron. Uh, I've seen it after blue apron. They send you, like, food portions and you make it yourself. And because I make such terrible food, I figured I could, like, save myself for making this. Are they giving you, like, just some clothes? They said, they, they said garlic, and they can't assume I have my own garlic and not my own butter. Who mayonnaise? Oh, wait, I need that. I need that. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see it. Is right, yeah, I, I, I don't. Oh, wait, maybe, yeah, maybe it's ground garlic. No, I've got to grate no, it. It's, it's grateable garlic. Maybe they so forgot, is it? I think they forgot the garlic. <laughs> Yeah, they must have, right? Oh wait, no, wait, this bag, this bag. Is that a, that's a garlic bag, right? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Open that. I'll put the ingredients out here. Oh, garlic! Yeah, that's, that's definitely garlic. Wait, is this, what's this then? I think that's... That's also garlic. Yeah. No, that's not garlic. It's, it's, it's purple. Just a, it's just a different colour. You can't have purple garlic. This isn't okay. I've surely seen garlic before. Yeah, like a full garlic, not a purple garlic. <laughs> Really, chat, a, a garlic's purple. You can save us here. I bet this is red onion or something. Like, seriously, look at the... Oh, wait, maybe. Well, we're gonna find <laughs> out. There's someone saying garlic can be, garlic, garlic can be purple. Well, um, they're wrong. They have never yeah, experienced the real world yet. Yeah, like me, names. the garlic connoisseur. It's purple, dude. <laughs> okay, chat, you're right now. So, you've got a... Someone's saying onion is garlic. <laughs> is onion garlic? I mean, it could be, right? Oh, so I've got to use all of this garlic. Like, all of this, man. And I'm going to grate it or slice it, but we all know the fastest way. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to stand back for this. So, does garlic make you cry or is that just onion? I think that's just onion. Is onion the only vegetable that makes you cry? I mean, rubbing your eye makes you cry. Yeah, this isn't working. I'll, I'll grate it. Rubbing your eye makes you cry. I mean, rubbing anything in your eye probably makes you cry. What about rubbing onion in your eye? Does that cancel out? <laughs> you, you do have eyes, you have onion, you can try it. Okay, so the way you grate a whole handful is you sacrifice your hand a bit, it's gonna hurt a bit here. So if we just rub the whole thing at once. Oh man, this... Oh. Do not do this at home, it hurts. <laughs> you get some of your skin in there too. I mean like, you gotta make homemade garlic somehow. This didn't even work. Uh, was... Don't you have to peel the garlic though? Oh, really? <laughs> Does it say that? I mean, I'm no expert, but... Oh, yeah, peel one, finally... Sh oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's peeled, right? Like, that that was the peeling process. <laughs> Look, as you can see, next level peeling technique. <laughs> okay, you know, it's fine. It's Oh, man. I think I might have... Oh, no, I didn't. That's, is that blood or is that, like, red juice? There's a couple of people commending your cooking ability, but... <laughs> This is where you gotta wash your hands. Make sure. Human skin I think I might have actually cut myself on the cheese grater. Like I was jokingly doing it, but I actually scuffed myself. It. Pro tip: cheese graters, they're dangerous. Like you gotta keep your distance from the cheese grater, guys. Well, people are saying it might add to the flavour, oh. so. <laughs> okay, so. Oh man, I'm gonna have to like put a glove on this or something. Or, because this is the cheap kitchen, this is the glove of choice. Got to keep the blood out of the food, dude. It's like a, it's a safety precaution. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna. <laughs> oh man, this is this is rough. This is rough. My okay. So we've only got one bit of garlic that's usable in the entire kitchen. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Cut this. This is peel too. So we've got two bits of garlic. Oh, 
though. It said a whole clove, though, you know? Yeah, that's like one bit of that. Oh, is it? Yeah. I don't know my definitions of cloves. Okay, so I'm gonna keep away from the cheese grater. That seriously hurts, like, you know, that cheese grater has hurt me more than any, like, other cooking accident ever. And that was, like, accidentally while doing something to make it seem like it was an accident. And that's not good, man. So, we're now going to take all of this garlic, and I'm going to do the next step. So I've got a pat the lamb mince dry with kitchen paper. Is kitchen paper like... Oh, these are sausages. Oh, they, they all say on them, by the way. Lamb mince, I think so. This is beef, by the way, I was correct. You don't even know your meats, Alex. Oh, you're right. <laughs> they got all the good meats in there. So, I've got a pan it dry. I think it's now safe to remove the safety sock. And, uh, can I pan it through the label? Or do you think I have to take it out? Because I feel like I'll get, like, meat on my hands. Um, I think it's, I think it's take it out. Okay, let's, let's do that. Let's do this. What's, what's chat going on board of <laughs> Then it's not massively positive, to be fair. Oh, it's not positive. Is no. It? Oh, what's the what's the general negative message? The general gist is you don't know how to fucking cook. Whoa! Oh, you're not meant to swear, by the way. You Sorry. Know, YouTube Sorry, didn't really. Demonetize now, dude. Oh man. Still gone now. You have to pay me back. Not only are you not getting food, now you have to <laughs> you have to make it all better. So we're gonna take the mints and we're gonna pan it dry using kitchen towel or something similar. See. I feel like we shouldn't use toilet paper. I feel like that's... There's a distinct reason we shouldn't. I'm not sure what it is. So I'll pat it with my hand. Wait, I'll use the recipe to pat it dry. I mean, it works. <laughs> okay, so I've got to pat this and then add to the bowl of chopped garlic, Henderson's relish, and salt and pepper. So I'll add the salt now. Save some time. Uh, gotta add the garlic in there. All of this. I mean, it says a bowl, but like a plate would do really, right? I think that'd be fine. <laughs> and then some Henderson's relish. Henderson. Have you ever heard of Henderson's? Uh, yeah, I think I have. Oh, really? I was not expecting that. Uh, Henderson's relish. Henderson's. Hellman's? Is that different to Henderson's? Would you say? Um, I, I couldn't tell you. Henderson's red wine vinegar. Ooh, that's fancy. They give you some. Oh, there we go. Henderson's relish. That's just soy sauce, right? It's like 100%. I don't think I've ever had relish. Uh, I've had like relish relish, but not soy sauce relish. Yeah. So we're gonna pour that on there gently. That seems like a bit too much, but I'm sure they know what's up. And then I've got a. Massage the meat with clean hands for one minute. I think I was meant to massage it a bit more than this at first. Uh, just gonna give it a good massage. Okay, people say it's definitely not relish. <laughs> right, <laughs> it says Henderson's. I agree with them there. Yeah, right, it's like 100% not relish. I don't know why they're calling it relish. It could be like a tax thing, like lower tax on relish than on soy sauce. So, there could be some magic like that. Oh, this is making some unpleasant noises. Did you hear that? Mm hmm Oh, yeah, that's not a... That's how you know me. When you're making a good burger, you want to make sure uncomfortable during the process. Like, if you're not getting uncomfortable, you're not making a good burger. It's just a fact. So, it's it's going pretty well, actually. Like, this is starting to... You can see how eventually this will be a burger. So, the reason you massage it is to help the patties keep their shape. So, now we're going to split it into two, and we're going to refrigerate it, apparently. Like, that's not how you cook burgers. Yeah, they've, they've missed something on that one. So instead of refrigerating it, I'll put it in the oven. Because <laughs> that's where hot things go. Or things go to be hot, I guess. Uh, is this a patty shape, or do you think I have to surf it up? Because it, it seems a little bit, like, not circular. Oh, but, like, it could be an artisanal burger. You know? <laughs> I think it looks fine. But... Okay, let's go for the... Let's go for the oh, wait, the, the garlic's not nearly chopped enough. If you want it to get cooked properly, and make sure it's like even throughout, like an even shape. Does that make sense? An even shape. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. No, I don't know what you mean. Sorry. <laughs> so like, it's the same thickness all the way through. Oh, because otherwise you'll get burnt bits and uncooked bits. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get that. I get that. 
Okay, I can do that. So, oh, I'd probably make them similar sizes too then, if I want to get that right. Okay, let's do this. Oh yeah, that's that's good. People are saying you have to refrigerate it. You're gonna just refuse that advice. Or... I have to refrigerate it. Under who was, whose orders, man? I I don't know. I didn't get that name. Like I just don't I don't understand why I would. <laughs> <laughs> you know, shut sure, shut sure. into the fridge. I dare you to... Do it how you want to. I mean... I mean, that's how you make burgers these days. You put them in the fridge, then you wait 20 minutes, and then they'll come out. Oh, by the way, that's like... Oh, they've, they've got time, they've got time. When's our Romanian friend meant to be here? He's meant to be here at 7.00. Oh, did you give him my address? Well, I'll just give you Oh, okay, I was gonna say. You, uh, you gotta not give the address anymore. <laughs> it's very secret. Very Even my secret. mailman doesn't know the address. He drops it off at a local park. <laughs> sends me an email. Uh, oh, next step. I've got to peel the cucumber. I'm not peeling the cucumber. Like, who peels cucumber? You don't peel cucumber, right? No, yeah, right? Okay, so... So I'm going to skip that step, because I feel like it's unnecessary. And then I'm going to end up with a pile of ribbons. Nope, don't care about that. Squeeze out the excess liquid. Nope. Oh, I can skip this whole step. There's our friend. Uh, so I guess what we'll do is we'll close the door. There's, there's too many characters already. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna add rice vinegar to a small pot with sugar and bring it up. Seriously, read this. Like that is so many things that don't do anything. Remove the heat and pour vinegar over the cucumber ribbon. You know, I, you know that's, that, these two steps are just make cucumbers. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm avoiding that. Uh, place the chia matter rolls in the oven for five minutes to warm through. I can do that, I can do that. My finger seriously hurts, by the way. That cheese grater, like, it's not good for you, man. It's not good for you. Always practice safety in the kitchen, or you're gonna you're gonna end up in some serious problems. Oh, Christ! Um, throw those in there. Okay, what's what's chat thinking? We we'd have to skip that. They haven't really mentioned anything yet. Oh, that's they good. They haven't weighed in their opinions. It takes a little bit of time to get through, <laughs> so we'll just, we'll just believe that they they agree. <laughs> If you don't get any opinions, that counts as They're saying, uh, use a potato peeler for the cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> Who has a potato peeler on them anyway? Um, then we're going to combine mayo and mint sauce in a small mixing bowl. Okay, mixing bowl, that means just bowl, right? Okay. Wait, I'll use this bag to be environmentally friendly. So mayonnaise and mint sauce with olive oil, salt, pepper, and that's minty mayo. So, mayonnaise. As you can see, it's Hellman's. It's the good stuff. Uh, throw the mayo in there. You have to go out and play D and D in a little bit, by the way, dude. Okay. Talking to you, not the chat, for the record. Just. <laughs> I figured. Oh man! Oh, this is not a good idea. It's like stuck. You know, it, it won't be stuck later. Like, it's good. It's good. So do I need both mayonnaise sachets? Yep, two two mayonnaise sachets. And then I need some mint sauce. Twenty G mint sauce. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. Well, can you help me find the mint sauce, dude? I'm, I'm a little bit... I don't know what I'm looking for. Right? I don't know what mint sauce is. I've got something called chili jam in here. Oh, mint sauce. Mint sauce. It's the last one. It's always the last one you're looking for. Uh, so we're going to combine all of these ingredients and some olive oil. Ooh. Give that a smell, dude. What do you think? What do I think about? Yeah, what, what do you think about the smell? I mean, it smells nice. Oh really? You like it? No, I've, I've actually had that before. Oh, you it's, have, it's yeah. Especially right. uncommon. It's a, uh, it's a very British thing. I yes, yeah. Yeah, on the roast dinner. Oh, maybe this is like a British company. I don't know for certain. I just bought it because you know, sometimes you make impulse purchases. Today was one of those times. And then we're gonna throw in our mayonnaise. This is looking like I'm just like throwing stuff away, isn't it? Like, Some people are saying it's hurting to watch this. <laughs> I disagree. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, if, if this hurts you to watch, maybe you need to get better at cooking. Yeah? <laughs> but this I is... think they disapprove of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Why would anyone disapprove of the bag, man? It's like this is legit. Okay, so I don't know how this is meant to work. Do you reckon this is? Oh, hello, man. Um, What's up? You need to know your password. So. Oh, for that top. Yeah. Uh, do you need the laptop? Yes. Like 100% or like 99%? Uh, 
Well, we need it to look at the stats and the information to make the characters. Though. Can you do like 99%? Can you do as much as you can without it and then get back to me when I'm like finishing up? Okay. Okay. Just I'll as much as you can cumulatively do. I'll try out. I'd appreciate that. Okay, so. Well, then we got to take uh, some amount of this. I think it just says like a dash. Yeah, at large drizzle again, like, such a subjective measure. Mm -hmm. But since I like other world, a large drizzle can mean anything. There we go. That's, <laughs> that's our sauce. So we give it a good squeeze. Get the mayonnaise off the sides. Get a mixture going on here. No, there's something missing from this. There's got to be. No, there's not. This is, this is mint mayo, dude. This is, this is the saddest... Like, I, I don't, I don't know what's wrong here, man, but this is not mint mayo. You know what, that's mint mayo, that's... <laughs> I did what it said, right? I didn't, I'm not, I'm not even being sarcastic, this is just... Wait, mayonnaise, mint sauce, check, check, olive oil, salt, pepper, I don't have pepper, but... That's not a sauce, this... <sighs> sure, whatever. Okay, so, heat a large wide base pan, so i move this to the side. Uh, I once cooked one of these in the oven and made just a big pile of plastic, by the way. It was not good. I thought it was like a chocolate sauce or something. I almost dipped something in there. Figured that would be dangerous, though. Good decision to realize. So we're gonna keep our mint mayo on the side. It's done now, <laughs> apparently. And we're gonna take a frying pan. Got one ready, prepared this earlier. And uh, we're gonna cook that on some temperature. You know, in a way, you're kind of cooking your frying pan every time you cook, right? Like, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, drizzle of vegetable oil. Uh, we agreed rapeseed is roughly a vegetable, right? I think so. Like, it's not actually a vegetable, but it's not far off. Um, and we're gonna take the cold patties. Why? Okay, chat. Can you explain to me why I have to put it in the fridge? I still think that's a ridiculous step in the process. Like, we don't want it cold, that's a... Oh yeah, this is ugly. This is like... This is not a pretty looking burger. Uh, but you know, it's, it's good, it's good. It's, it's gonna look beautiful after it's like, when we're done, it'll look like that. That's, <laughs> that's guaranteed. So, then we're gonna take this, and we're gonna throw it... Oh wait, we'll wait, this is pretty good. So in the meantime, uh, what, what have you been up to, Alex? Oh, nothing much. No. What do you do before you came here today? Um, I was actually studying. That's basically my life at this point. Studying um, for what? Uh, without being specific. Oh, uh, so programming or software engineering. Ah, uh, programming. Yeah. What, what language? Uh, I'm currently doing Java at uni. Ah, uh, uh, Java! <laughs> See, wait, wait, everyone can relate to that. Yeah, yeah. It's, That's it's, the Minecraft. Uh -huh, it's the reason why it's so poorly, it does so, so it performs so badly on laptops and low-end PCs. Did you know credit cards from Java? Uh, it doesn't surprise me. It's, I don't uh, know if it's true, it can't be, right? I, I, like it's, it doesn't surprise me. The, the amount of devices that run Java is just insane. Three billion devices run Java. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the <laughs> most terrifying facts. <laughs> it's, it's scary that you don't have to be good to be wide, wide market, you just have to <laughs> be wide market. And then yeah. It kind of happens the rest. So this is probably cooked by now, right? Would you say that's hot enough? I, I you can't really tell if you know what, it, it's looking. Can yeah, it? looking. <laughs> oh, yeah. You need to touch it, really, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Are you saying I should touch, man? Because if so, that's that's bad friendship behaviour. Touching hot things is how you get burned. Fun fact, not widely known. Okay, so those are my two patties, and we've got to cook them for some amount of time. Only three minutes, dude. That doesn't seem right. Uh, but apparently it is. Um, and then I've got to take out my warmed chia batters. Ooh. Watch out, dude. I mean, they don't seem warm. Oh, they're actually hot as heck. Can you touch them and confirm for the stream, Alex? They are very warm. Like, you can't see the heat, though. <laughs> but there is heat in there. You're gonna have to trust me on this. This isn't a facade. My oven is on. The bread rolls are hot. And the uh, the burgers are coming along nicely. It says hit. A tip is to use a spatula to uh, tap them every now and then. So I'm gonna give them a good pack. See, it just, it just doesn't seem like they're getting hot. Like, they, it looks like I've just left them on the side for a week. And now, like... <laughs> I wish I could disagree. But... <laughs> uh, so, and then I've got to cut out the chia batter in half. Assemble the burger. Oh, there was a potato. There was uh, 
something instead of tomatoes in here at one point. No, yep, no idea where that came in. I'll, I'll cut up some tomatoes. So, slice a tomato. Oh, it's making a noise. Good to get that noise with camera, it's a nice noise. Like, I don't know what that is actually. That doesn't. That seems a bit concerning. I'm gonna say that's fine. It's just they're normal noises. I think. Normal noises. Yeah. Chat. Normal noises, or should we call the fire brigade? <laughs> you got that snap. In the meantime, I'll cut this tomato. You're saying beautiful noise, so. People are saying it's a beautiful noise. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That is. Um... It's, it clearly is desirable if people like it. That is the definition of desirable. Uh, so here's the trick. With tomatoes, the end slice sucks. No one wants it. We'll just throw it in the rubbish pile already. The middle slice also sucks. No one wants it. Get rid of that too. Really, there's like only like a tiny part of the tomato that's even usable. Oh, this isn't gonna work. You know, I, I, I only really need two slices anyway. You know, that's that's a good percentage of the tomato you right there. Put some plastic on there. Then we've got to cut these in half. Do you reckon the same technique should work here? Just, um, or should we should be a, a little careful? I'm not going to recommend that. Okay, I'll be, I'll be very careful. Going to use the bridging technique. Oh, that's a good noise. That's yeah, that's starting to. I'm on board with that noise now. Going to slice these in two. Really, this is how you double any food. Like, we started with like one roll, and by the end of this cut, now we've got two. This is actually how Jesus fed 5,000. Uh, it's, uh, it's a new end technique, but it's... Oh, that's, that's a burger shape. That's good. See, chia batter, it looks beautiful. Have you ever seen chia batter, Alex? Um, I think so. It's one of the better formats, I would say. Okay, I'm doing some flipping over here. Oh, yeah. Catch the flip. So it's not like pancakes. I've learned that one. You want to you do your flips very carefully with this. Oh, there we go. That's good stuff right there. Mm. That's looking almost burger-like, with mm. some cracks in. But they're artisanal. Artisanal cracks. Uh, so we're going to cut the other one in half. Do you think I even need to put the steak in? Should I do it anyway, because it looks nice? I, yeah, I think so. Have you ever actually been to a place where they put steaks in the burger? Uh, yeah, I think I've been to quite a few places. Do you think it's valuable, or do you think it's a gift? Uh, I... I think it's pretty yeah, it's a bit of a gimmick. How about you? I, I always think it's a little bit of a gimmick, but I do appreciate it, because the moment you get to the steak, if it requires the steak, your burger falls apart. And I can't do this, I can't cut bread rolls. Dude. No, I'm, I'm not too good either, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I'll switch it around. Like, it's not... Uh, you know, I'll just, I'll just like, slide, just slide it in. Or oh, I'll tear. I'll tear. There we go. See, the tear is better than the cut. Yeah. And now we've got two burger shapes, roughly speaking. <laughs> and I just need, need to find, oh, I've got a couple of burgers. See, they recommended this as well. This is really, like, ugly oil. Like, I know that's how burgers work, but still. Uh, so, plate. And this is going to be the finished burger plate. And actually, no, I'll cut some more tomatoes. I'll try it. It's dangerous when you're this close to the edge, but I like to live my life on the edge. If I just go fast enough like this, it'll work. So, like a swing of gold. <laughs> it did not work. I'm going to be a bit more careful with this. OK, so, oh, Christ. Stable surface, always useful. No, I'm, I'm just. I can't do it, man. I'll just slice this way. And that's like, you know, that's that's an artisanal tomato technique. Now I've got artisanal tomatoes. Oh, I got tomato in the cup. Oh. Let me read some chat. Uh, don't chop off your fingers using the raw lamb plate. Oh, is that a problem, do you reckon? The raw lamb, oh. Yeah, that's the raw lamb there. plate. Yeah, that's a good point. Can I not eat the tomatoes now, or do I just have to cook them? I'll pretend it's the second one. <laughs> like, if, it, if I can cook the germs out of the lamb, I can cook the germs out of the tomatoes. 
Someone just mentioned that this is scaring them. <laughs> this is scaring them. This process is literally scaring <laughs> <laughs> I think you're fine. Look, this is, a, this is a lesson in how, no matter how bad you are at something, if you follow your dreams, your dreams are going to come true. I'm going to have the most beautiful burger. Uh, my, my mint sauce. <laughs> what? What went wrong here, man? What, like... <laughs> Wait, I'll just, I'll like, if I hold a top there, I'll like squeeze it a bit. There we go. That's, that's happening now. That looks more like a sauce. Okay, so, that, that's probably almost done now. Yeah, um... Smartphones are probably done too. Food poisoning is getting mentioned a bit more in the, the comments. <laughs> see, I know you don't want to see pink. That's, that's always a good idea. So we're going to keep going until we see no pink. The burgers are starting to fall apart, that's the only problem. Uh, oh, the cucumber! Oh, it said too many steps. But I will take, we'll like try and cheese it. I'll just like slice the tomato like it's a, uh, sorry, the cucumber like it's a tomato. Oh! Pro tip, cut for the plastic, saves you time in opening it. Oh, this is actually hard to cut. There we go. So these are my tomato slices. That's a bit thick, isn't it? Like, it's a chunky, chunky cucumber. You know, that chunky's good. Chunky is what we're going for. This is a chunky burger. Oh, there's more mint in here. I'll throw this in the mint sauce back. Maybe that'll solve my problems. <laughs> People are criticizing your cutting ability. Um, See, this is, this is, those are haters, Alex. <laughs> See, on the internet, anyone that criticizes you is a hater. Oh, no, no. And you can ignore their opinion. Their criticism is unfounded, though. Yeah, it <laughs> doesn't matter how real your criticism is. If you call them a hater, they're the bad guys. Because you do you, man. You want to cook badly? That's a sauce, right? That's almost a sauce. Um, technically. It looked more like a sauce than before. That's, I'll give it that. OK, so the burgers are pretty much apart now. going to flip them again and make sure. This burger looks done, this burger doesn't, but that one's the thicker one. It's kind of hot. So that's, we're, we're pretty much done now. So we're going to turn off the stove. Or oh, oven. Um, what is this called for tops? The frying place? Hops? Um, the hop, yeah, that's kind of You just call them the hops? Yeah, I, I guess. Okay, so the hops are pretty much done here. <laughs> we got some juice. We got food as well. <laughs> no, we're both very good at cooking now. Oh, good idea. Um, so I've got to assemble the burgers. It says sliced tomato over lamb patties, followed by minty mayo, followed by a particular cucumber. And I've got to skewer them together with the chips. Oh, the chips. I mentioned the, the tomatoes will burn. I don't know how... It's better to have burnt tomatoes than food poisoned tomatoes. See, I, I care. Okay, so we're going to do this now. This is the moment. We've been waiting for it. Or stream. This is what it's all about. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. So someone's someone's bewildered by the fact that they just realised you're actually following the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> just doing this freestyle. All the other ones I did freestyle, and I always missed a step or two. <laughs> okay. That's a burger there, right? Again, technically, I guess it probably is. Okay, and then. This is technically a burger too. This is like a real full-on burger too. Oh yeah. Well, oh, oh, it's, it's the wrong side up. Oh, that's ugly. That's ugly. It's just it's just the wrong shape for the bun. Like oh yeah, that's not good. Artisanal, artisanal. Uh, and then we gotta throw the tomatoes on that. Give them the oh, if they're hot because they were just in the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Good lesson, guys. Tomatoes are hot if you fry them. I was say it looks very tasty, but tasty was in quotes. I'm not sure you should take that off. I reckon they're being genuine. People on the internet usually are very nice. Uh, so there's there's our tomatoes in there. Oh, you got to show the tomato. Okay. See, it looks good now, right? We're starting to get somewhere. There's like real, real progress being made there. Throw that in there too. Next step is minty mayo. So I don't know how we're even gonna. <laughs> Do this, but let's try. Throw some in there. 
Oh yeah, Minty Mayor. Oh, that's a lot, isn't it? That seems like too much. Minty Mayor. And then the next step is Cucumber. This is meant to be pickled, but like, pickled, cucumbers are basically pickled already. Like in one frame of four. Throw those in there. Oh, I can see why you need the skewer now, you see? They're like, it's slippery. So, now they're finished. We throw in a couple of skewers. Throw it in there. Throw it in there. That's, that's looking good now, right? Am I wrong, Alex? Be honest with me. Give me your honest opinions, chat, okay. Alex. My honest opinion is... <coughs> Would you eat I, I didn't expect it to come out as well as it did <laughs> <laughs> during the process of actually cooking it. Oh, uh, get that back in. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. And these, these wedges, they're like, looking pretty real too. Yeah, people are saying that it looks good, so I mean... <laughs> Again, you can't really tell sarcasm over the internet, but... These, these potatoes, wait, are these potatoes done too? Like, they don't look like it, right? Um, I'll take a few out, but I would rather need most of them in. Oh, they're like burned to the bottom, because I didn't use the oil correctly. <laughs> That's a meal. That's a meal, that day. <laughs> That's just 4.5 out of 10. I mean, that's slight, just that's slightly good. below average. I mean, I could run a restaurant and be better than like the local KFC. Oh days. yeah, totally. Yeah, people would eat that. One out of ten. That's just a hater, right? That's... They're a hater. Yeah. Opinion's not bad. That's good. That's that's a meal. Jack, be real with me here. That is like, you could get served that at a bad restaurant, but like not a bad restaurant that was on purpose bad. Like a real bad restaurant, you know? I'm not sure how I feel about these. I did that any day of the week, damn straight, 10 out of 15. Love it, Toy Cat. Wait, I have a. Uh, wait, one sec. So, keep staring at the burger so I'll get trended. Thomas, you're a chef, right? Can you come to my stream for a bit? Yes, Okay, I have a real live professional chef. He's never seen this before, doesn't know about the stream. Rate this out of 10. Restaurant gives you this. What do you rate them on TripAdvisor? Out of 10. Um, okay. Honestly, 7 8. 7 8! Real, like, he's not even just being complimentary. He could say 2, and but he says 7. Yeah, like, yeah. Real, right? Like, that's, that's it. That's that's You've got some innards and it's holding together well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. There you go. Right. Yeah. Your opinion's wrong, chat. Thank you very much. What, yeah. you, what did he say then? Sorry? What, what was he saying? Like, the chat's all like, no, the chat's are Alex. He's, he's a little bit torn, but everyone's like, oh, it's bad, one out of ten. I think it's because they've actually seen the process of it being Oh, made. yeah, the process was really <laughs> rough. No, but yeah, but the, the process finish. can be messy, but in the conclusion, that's what it's about, isn't it? And it's yeah, it's right. together, it's got, in, you know, it's got some salad and whatnot. Yeah, right? There we go. That damn straight, real chef, his opinion matters more Tri than you. TripAdvisor, we're talking 7 8. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why TripAdvisor, more like Google Maps or something. But you know, any <laughs> rating system. Seven. Better than your local KFC, right? That's, yeah, that's my. There's proper chef work in there. Hey, so, hey, hey, hey. That's what you got to look at, really. Okay, thank you very much. I'm going to come out and play Dandy in a sec. Just got to say, it's really to character anyway. So. Oh, but I thought you need my laptop for that, right? No, we just. just Basically, not. so getting what you can off of our sheets. That's a bit quick, oh, obviously. yeah, that was that stays until time. Okay, so thank you very much for watching today's live stream. Uh, this is my friend Thomas. He's going back to his, uh, his place. <laughs> He's not my Romanian friend. Uh, yeah. You might be from Romania, right? Like, <laughs> you don't know for certain you're not Romanian, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. probably not my Romanian friend yet, but we'll, we'll see about that one. Uh, but thank you very much for watching the live stream. Like it if you like it. Share it if you really liked it, and I'm gonna probably private this afterwards because, like, it's probably like unsafe for YouTube, right? I, I hurt myself, I probably encouraged food poisoning practices somewhere in there, and uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this because I don't care. Oh, that's good meat. So, goodbye. You don't have to turn it off, Alex. We'll turn it off as soon as he works it out. Don't worry.